We're back now with a local woman's effort to remember her daughter by doing good things for others. But those efforts are running into roadblocks. She wants to open a transitional home for recovering opioid addicts on Louisa Avenue near Oceana. But even before she got to make her case, someone stepped in to say, not in my backyard. 10 on your side's Chris Horn has more on this story. We first reported back in May, Chris. Yeah, Anita, not in my backyard because it's already in my backyard in a sense. We've told you how Carolyn Weems has become an advocate for parents ever since her daughter died from a heroin overdose. She wants to help young women in recovery with a transition home, but so far it has no address. It's hard to go out and raise money on an idea. And here's the idea for Carolyn Weems to honor the memory of her daughter, Caitlin, who died five years ago from a heroin overdose. Provide counseling, life coaching, and job search assistance for young women who've already completed rehab. To keep them hopeful and know that they can enjoy life without drugs. But you need a place. We need a place. She would call the transition home Caitlin's Cottage. City of Virginia Beach suggested this property in Oceana Gardens, a home in need of attention and rehabilitation. What could be more perfect? And then the Neighborhood Civic League said, take your dream elsewhere. The, the neighborhood would fight against Caitlin's Cottage all the way. Right next door, there's already two transition homes for men recovering from addiction. The neighborhood's great. Um, everyone around here obviously knows these are transitional homes. And the head of the Civic League told me off camera just what he told Weems. He doesn't want the city to keep using his neighborhood as a dumping ground for these programs. Of course, I can understand that, but I see it a different way. She sees the resistance as another form of stigma that dogs those in recovery. People see them as rowdy partiers who will disrupt the neighborhood. It's going to be people like my daughter who are trying to get well, who have a job, who you know have goals and aspirations and hopes. She'll continue to work with the city and other organizations to find a home for Caitlin's Cottage. We're not going to give up. Caitlin's Halo has a run walk fundraiser scheduled for late August at Mount Trashmore. We have details on that event and how the organization works with women dealing with addiction on Wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 on your side.